what is your student debt number? Let's see what we find. We grabbed a Sharpie, a poster, and headed to the National Mall to find out just how much student debt people have. 40000 and that's after 15 years of paying it off. It didn't take long. I got kind of lucky with mine. To find other stories and numbers, too. 40 k boom, too much. Putting a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper probably isn't breaking much news for you. According to College Board, recent graduates with debt in our country owe around $28,400. All of this, though, brings us to the Supreme Court, where Tuesday oral arguments will take place over President Biden's plan to cancel up to $20,000 worth of debt for most Americans. It's actually a very technical conversation. Andrew Lieb is a constitutional attorney who says the argument, which is actually two separate cases, isn't so cut and dry. One argument can be traced back to the September 11th attacks and the HEROES Act, which Congress passed in 2003. The White House says the law gives the president authority to waive student loan debt during national emergencies. But with the COVID national emergency set to end in May, does that power still exist? Lieb says before the justices even debate that, in the case of Biden v. Nebraska Tuesday, justices are likely to argue whether or not the case should even be happening. The case is brought by six conservative-leaning states who want to block forgiveness over concerns that will impact tax revenues. Missouri, for instance, is arguing the Missouri Higher Education Loan Authority will lose money if forgiveness happens. Lieb says that argument may be too weak for the court. Typically to block something, you need to be a victim. I think the first question the justices are going to say is, hey, you states that are suing, do you even have standing to sue? The district court actually originally found in this case, they said, hey, you guys aren't the right people to sue. You don't have a damage. You don't have an injury. The other case, Department of Education v. Brown, is even more technical, arguing that the Biden administration didn't offer a proper public comment period before rolling their forgiveness plan out. Back on the National Mall. It's not going to fix anything. Jennifer Slater, who is visiting from Montana, says her family isn't following the technicalities, but they are following this case. She worries, though, forgiving debt without fixing high tuition will do nothing. Having said that, I'm telling my daughter to apply for that chance, to the, for that forgiveness. I mean, I'm, we're not stupid. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.